Hey everyone, I'm Mike and I have opinions. First, I want to apologize profusely for no video on Friday. After I uploaded Monday's episode, I realized that Friday was the day after Thanksgiving. I just didn't have time to make a video and I really apologize for that. In lieu of that, if you celebrate, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Otherwise, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today is obviously December 2nd. NaNoWriMo was completely finished. I ended up with my goal of 25K. As a friend told me, that's still 25,000 words I did not have in October. So I decided that I'm going to take that view of it because, you know what, that's a better view than beating myself up over the head over it, if you know what I mean. So NaNoWriMo is finished, and we have a whole year to prepare for the next one. So I sincerely hope that uh, you guys decide to do it next year if you haven't, or you decide to continue to do it if you did this year. Um, it is rewarding no matter what happens because, man, do they have some great snacks at the Thank God It's Over party yesterday. What are my overall thoughts of NaNoWriMo 2013? Well, I am not going to lie and say that I am not disappointed that I didn't hit 50k. Obviously, that is the stated goal of the whole deal, and I would have liked to have made it, but I did learn a few things about how I write and how I do things this year. For example, I did try to plan ahead of time for the story I was going to write, and I ended up switching to a completely different story halfway through. Because I just didn't have the, f I just didn't feel the momentum building for that first story, and starting a new story from scratch probably is part of what hurt my totals. So lesson one for next year, I'm not going to plan it all. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've said before in other videos that I am a pantser, uh, born and bred. I am not ever going to be a planner. Every time I sit down and try to plan things, it does not go well. The story ends up either veering completely off course, or I just get bogged down and don't know where to go with it. You know, I work myself into a corner, even with the notes I have. So I know that for myself, I just, I'm going to stick with pantsing. It's just it just works better with how I write. Um, and as always, when you're listening to somebody talk about how they write, your mileage may vary. Everybody writes differently, and that's perfectly fine. You know, you could, I can sit here and blather all I want about how pantsing is awesome and how you should always do it. But in the at the end of the day, um, one of my friends, she, she carries note cards with her that uh, talk about her characters, that talk about her scenes, that talk about her story goals, and all of that. And she has these prepared long before she ever sits down to write. Take take to heart what you will. Always always write with your heart and write the way you want to write. Don't let anybody tell you that you need to write a certain way. Or never tell, never listen to somebody when they tell you you have to write to a market because they're lying and you should probably punch them. Oh, okay, don't do that. Don't punch them. No, no. I don't advocate violence either, unless they deserve it, in which case they do. But don't punch people. <clears throat> anyway, as a whole, um, you know, I do like the second story I came up with quite a bit. I unconsciously started following the path I did with a story that Ridge that, I, well, okay. A little background in this character is I originally, um, I originally wrote her a few years back, and I disliked the character. Um, I do not work well with characters I don't like, and if I try to write an unlikable protagonist, oh boy, do I fail hard. Uh, I did not like her. I did not like what she was doing. And it just didn't work for me. So I went back to the drawing board. And that character ended up being the protagonist of last year's NaNoWriMo novel. Um, and I realized through a lot of hard work with her that I like her quite a bit. So I kept that original story around in case I you know, wanted to refer back to it for notes. I was going over the notes when I was doing some uh, organizing with my writing files. And... Unconsciously, I, I've kind of been following a bit of the thread from that original story in the one I started writing for Nano. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. You know, not that it's an impressive story or anything like that, but 
it's just kind of neat how she's, that she's still taking this path in a way, even though she's a fundamentally different character. So I thought that was kind of interesting from a storytelling perspective. Um, um, otherwise, you know, again, even if I didn't get my total, I did enjoy doing NaNoWriMo. Um, I enjoy the community aspects of it. Um, I, in a lot of ways, the write-ins are just a way for me to hang out with my friends for three, four hours a couple times a week. Um, and I, that's one of the reasons why I like to encourage other writers to do NaNoWriMo is because as writers, we tend to be told that it's a solitary experience. Um, in a lot of ways it is, but we can't live our lives in a solitary way. We have to get out there and we have to interact. In fact, one thing I would encourage people to do is to try to keep your write-in groups together past November. Um, and I would like to do that myself with uh, my write group because the vast majority of people that go to my writing group, uh, you know, we're all friends and I would like to continue doing that. Of course, you know, we all also jigger our schedules in November to make it easier to do these things. So when things end up shifting back to normal, it becomes a little more difficult. So time permitting and all of that, but um, yeah, take advantage of that and try to continue doing that. Um, I highly encourage that. I think I said that before uh, when I was talking about NaNoWriMo. Um, Beyond that, um, I think that's really all I wanted to say. Uh, it was a good nano, despite not making the original word count, but I did get my secondary one, and I am happy about that. So, I think next episode we will be back to more normal content. Uh, no more of this writing drivel if uh, you're not really interested in that anymore. So, uh, until then, uh, I have opinions, and so should you.